right now with Bridget Naso. She's live in Del Mar at Dog Beach, where there's some big things happening on Sunday. The doggies are learning how to surf is what's going on. It's a doggy uh, surf contest. Hey. There she is. It's Gidget. Gidget. It's a big surf contest. Yes, that's right. You know. Gidget goes to Dog yeah. Beach. Gidget what did you say? Dog beach. It's a dog surf contest? Yes, for doggies. Is that what we're doing? Yeah. yeah. I thought I was getting the lessons, and this was for people. No, that's right. It's for the dogs. And Rob Cootie is with us this morning, and you actually train people and dogs. Yes. And you're giving me a little lesson here on the board. Yes. So talk about how getting ready, your dogs to get ready for this big surf contest going on this weekend. If it's your first time surfing with your dogs, people get super excited and they just want to take the board, get out in the water and get to it. But a lot of times you don't give your dog a chance to get acclimated to the board. So what I like to do is get people out on the sand on the board. Yeah, and, and we've got some dogs out here today. Yep, we have a few dogs out here. We have Christina with Remy and there's some dogs coming around checking out the dogs that are surfing. But it's all about praising the dog while they're on the board. So that, and then when they're off the board, you just ignore them. So after you do this a couple times in a row, they start to get acclimated and they want to jump on that board. Do they want? Do they have to get used to the water? I love this bulldog, by the way. Do they have to get used to the water before they do this? Well, that's a great question. You want to make sure if you're going to get into surfing with your dogs that first your dog loves the water. So yes, once you get in there, you're going to have two people holding, holding the board so they can kind of work on their balance. All right. So I see the, see the owners and the dogs here. I got to ask you, what's your name and what's your dog's name? I'm Doug and this is uh, Dozer. And is Dozer a pretty big surfer? Uh, you know Greg Knoll, don't you? Greg Knoll. Well, see, I know that Dan does back at the station, but... Yeah. He, he, he's uh, seven weeks into surfing. Seven weeks, so he's practically a pro. All right, okay. And this is all for a great cause. This is to benefit Helen Woodward Animal Center. We all know Helen Woodward Animal Center. John Van Zanti. Now, Rob Cootie, of course, he's training these people with the surfboards and the dogs, but he also trains people and dogs at Helen Woodward, right? Yeah, he does. He's our trainer out at Helen Woodward Animal Center. He does evaluations and behavior analysis and helps us to match the pet with the family where it's going to do the best. By the way, uh, what, the, you know, we're talking about uh, seven weeks of surfing. That's actually 49 dog weeks. That's true. That's true in dog weeks. Also, uh, this event is benefiting Helen Woodward Animal Center, Center, the biggest surf dog event. You're expecting 100 dogs out here. you got some celebrities coming out, all the benefit the center. Tell us about the event. Well, it's, uh, it's our third one. We started that first year just as a test with a dozen dogs, and we went up to 50 to 60 dogs. And, and this year, we're not exactly sure what to expect. So for the surfing dogs, uh, we've got that, that part of it. For the surfing humans, you can register yourself. And if you and your dog don't go in the water, you can register for the Bikini Babe or the Beach Bum Canine Costume Contest. And uh, actually, uh, Bridget, uh, Bridget, Mar Bridget Marquois from the TV show, uh, The Girls Next Door, is going to be out oh, yeah. the judges. Uh, so. yeah. Yeah, one of her cohorts. Kendra's from San Diego, by the way. Yeah, she's very a popular gal. All right, so here you go. That's what's happening here today. They're getting warmed up, getting ready for the big surf contest this weekend. You can go to Helen Woodward Animal Center's website, or you can go to ours, and we'll give you a link to uh, register and get on, and all the money goes hey, to at the Helen Woodward Animal Center. Yeah. Hey, what was the reference to the Greg Knoll? What was that about? Uh, about the dog? What about Greg the dog? Knoll? Is his name and, Greg Knoll? I think he was kind of associating that that's how good a surfer this young dog, this young man is, right? Because Greg Knoll was the godfather of big wave surfing. Mm -hmm. That's right. And he That's was the right. one who was supposedly rode the largest wave in history, which is a big storm in Hawaii many years ago. So it means well, that dog is legendary. Dog. So that means that he dog. Looks, he yeah. looks like he's got that Greg Knoll feeling, right? He looks like Greg, yes. He's got the tongue action. Look at him. Greg, Greg looks a little like that. That's oh. true. Mm -hmm. oh. Maybe he doesn't like his bathing suit. <laughs> Thank you, Bridget.